What's up, Leo? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And if this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Leo, the first song that started playing when I was doing your shuffle is called Bird and Soul. And in that song, they said, and now I'm no longer the same. Take it how it resonates. I feel like somebody's going through something. It's been a major shift with the Leos lately. Um, the song that's playing right now is called... Soteria or Soteria or some shit like that. <laughs> but what it means... Safety. Salvation. Deliverance. Preservation from harm. We're going to see how that ties into the reading. I didn't start anybody else's reading with songs necessarily, but I felt the need to, to name those for you in this reading. So what I'm going to be looking at is the person most on your mind, how you two view each other, what's coming, what else, and advice. So I'm going to show up with the video. Who been lying? I don't know why I keep feeling like I don't I don't want to say what I'm feeling yet. Okay, so who is most on your mind right now, Leo? Ace of Swords. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be someone that you're looking at from a different perspective as well. It could be some kind of truth or somebody that you would like to communicate or that would like to communicate with you or that you're cutting out of your life or vice versa. A lot of meanings there. <sighs> Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. I feel really jittery all of a sudden. Not a pinnacles in the reverse. All right, we got a person. Maybe there's someone that you want to communicate with. Things have possibly stopped with this person or come to a halt. This could be an ex or this could be somebody that you're very undecided about or vice versa. We got Aries energy here and Scorpio. Why is the, em the emperor here? Knight of Pentacles. All right. So this person could have put an end to the relationship, found it a burden, or felt like they weren't getting the same love in return. Vice versa. Take it how it resonates. I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody who's very emotionally blocked off. You two are not seeing... You two are not... Um, Whoever this emperor is, whoever's putting a stop to this, they could be an entrepreneur, they could be somebody who has a powerful position, this could be a father, an Aries, a Taurus. This could also be somebody who's very business focused. I'm not really getting a selfish energy from this person, but I'm feeling like they, this is someone who is standing, like, who's standing up for themselves in some way. Somebody who has a lot of responsibilities, but tell me the Ten of Wands. Yeah. This is someone who felt as though the relationship was a big thing. You know what I mean? It was a big responsibility or a burden. The song that was playing at the beginning of the reading was Burden Soul. But this person is letting go of this. Tell me the Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. This could be somebody who's also still grieving over the fact that this relationship didn't go the distance. What's the disconnect about? <clears throat> somebody could have been very selfish in this relationship. There could have been a lot of emotional codependency. I'm getting tunnel vision. Somebody um, had, I got everything except the devil so far, but it's kind of pointing to, if it's not emotional codependency coupled with some sort of addiction, it's one or the other. 
that I'm getting the sadness or depression too, which led to a lot of reckless decisions. Somebody also is not just sitting on the sidelines, like not entertaining other love options or something like that, right? I'm getting somebody who's afraid to take any more chances with their life. Judgment in reverse. Because of someone's indecision. There's the devil. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Um, because of someone's indecision, it led to a lot of someone being done wrong. Somebody was very immature. I feel like the veil has been dropped on the fact that somebody is very toxic and very non-committal. And King of Swords, somebody is deciding to uh, tap out of their emotions as far as, oh, this person did me wrong and I'm so hurt and blah, blah, blah. But more tap into their intuition, tap into who they really are and make a logical decision about this. Could be dealing with um, Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So, Leo, how do you view this person? We got the Eight of Cups. How does this person view you? The Hermit and the Six of Cups in the reverse. So, y'all might be on the same page. You view them as walking away. And they view you as withdrawing and letting go as well. See what song is playing. The song is playing right now is called Silent Solace. And I feel like that's how this person is viewing you right now as suffering in silence, if that makes any sense. So let's look at it. It's like permission wasn't granted in some way. Why is the eight of cups here for how view for how Leo views this person? So you view them as 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 wondering whether or not like kind of going back and forth, you know, doing the pros and cons list. Maybe the bad outweighs the good, maybe the good outweighs the bad, but perhaps the former. Because you view them as walking away and moving on. Or thinking about doing so. No longer getting involved in this competition. Guarded, standing up for themselves, watching their money, or, or perhaps waiting, but emotionally repressed. This was, there was a very, very, very strong connection here. You may also view this person as emotionally manipulative, so, or because they're repressed, it could be like, triggering something in you or vice versa okay it's like the way someone feels about someone it's making them want to open up it's like i almost like a, i need you almost like an obsession uh, obsessive type of energy here what's the devil it's love though it's, there's love there, but there's also confusion. This queen. Yo, you may also feel as though this person is um, maybe exploring other options at this point in secret. Perhaps that's why the disconnect. Ooh, a lot of block communication, block movement for this person. Yeah. You may feel like they're exploring other options at this point. A lot of that's why things aren't moving forward between you two because their energy is split. They're not communicating everything to you. Why does this person view Leo as the Hermit and the Six of Cups in the reverse?
they think that you're undecided but also afraid that things will change they also feel like you've withdrawn your passion or you're not taking any action they view you as possibly trying to release this from your mind you know and move on perhaps take another opportunity in this and literally go away They view you as disconnecting completely. Show me the um, Six of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Swords. They may also feel stabbed in the back. Oh, they're just feeling this ending. Feeling like there's no way to make it work. There's no need in moving forward with it. They may feel... And, oh, they may feel this is how you feel. So this person is reserving their emotions. They kind of step more into a masculine energy here with the King of Cups. I feel like this is the same person who is kind of riding the wave, but remaining emotionally sound through this situation. The song that's playing right now is called Reminisce. They're reminiscing about it. They're definitely thinking about it. They definitely have love for you. But I feel like this is someone who... Um, I don't want to say internalized, but I feel like if they did internalize the pain, it was before you did, if that makes any sense. You know, hearts don't break even. So I feel like this person went through whatever you're going through now or vice versa. Some Y'all didn't go through it at the same time. Thanks the pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be reversed, but somebody may, um, somebody's just viewing this as a no, it's like, I, I don't know how to make this work. You can't make your, make up your mind about me, but that's not going to break me. You know what I mean? It's, I'm getting that somebody's being strong in this situation. All right, let's move on. coming towards Leo. What's coming next for Leo? We got the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Eight of Wands, Fire Sign, Six of Cups, Empress in the Reverse. Okay. Why the Page of Pentacles? So there could be Communication could be an apology. I'm sorry that I can't talk to you anymore. I'm sorry that I can't do this. Santa Pentacles. But it's not over between us. Four of Swords. I feel like. I need to heal. I need to. I'm not ready to commit to this. I'm not ready to do this. I need to break free right now. I'm, I'm too guarded or I'm too. I feel like I don't feel like this is going anywhere. It's stagnant. Somebody's blocking this from happening. What's the hierophant? I think I've learned my. I think the, the, the right thing for me to do here is to keep myself guarded. I'm not really seeing things clearly. The right thing for me to do is to keep my heart blocked off from this. Somebody's being very honest with themselves and coming to a very like clear headed decision here. What's the eight of wands? They may commu be communicating what they're going on to make a fresh start. We've got the king and the queen of swords. I question your stability in whatever this is. I feel like it's what whoever. The, I feel like what's coming towards you. This could be communication from another person or you communicating something to another person from a very decisive, clear headed space. And whatever this, the, whoever this person is, is communicating that I am seeing your instability or um, indecision or, you know, just really not being, not carrying the ball here. Somebody's dropping the ball here. 
And I think it's best for me to not participate in this anymore. I, I think I need to let this go. Six of Cups. Somebody is... I think I put too much focus into something that was making me unhappy. And it's time for me to overcome that. Or... I gotta let go of whatever this is and focus on getting over it. Because it's kind of draining my strength. This could be you. Somebody's letting go. Empress. I could have been dealing with the um. Okay, I wanted to reconnect with this person. So somebody tries to reconnect here because I view you as, as everything that I would want. But maybe there's not enough time here. Somebody didn't have enough time or somebody didn't have enough to give or there there had been too many things or there just wasn't any balance in this situation. Somebody's emotion was, was way too emotionally repressed here. Somebody could have been dealing with someone else, could have been a Gemini. We got Libra energy cancer here. I, somebody was just not seeing a path forward. Somebody, it's like something in the sauce. You know how you can have all the right ingredients for something, but the wrong measurements. If you mix up the oil measurement with the water measurement, the cake is screwed, okay? So what could have been so beautiful and so scrumptious, it just wasn't the right measurements. So it fell flat, if that makes anything, if, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's going to be the name of your reading, Leo. Right ingredients, wrong measurements. So, I have to cut the toxicity, the obsession, the, the negativity, the codependency that is this connection. I have to do that. Because it's the right thing to do with the Justice card. All right, Leo. Good things fall apart so that better things can fall together. Go with the path of least resistance. Don't fall in love with people who are only in your life to teach you a lesson. Somebody's broken. And the relationship is not going to fix that. Somebody's very quick to anger, quick to jump, quick to... This is very impulsive. Impulsive behavior. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Go watch Cancer's reading. That was in their reading, too. This could have been somebody that you were lightly involved with, just dating. But someone could have also been involved, or one of you could have also been involved seriously with the other. Listen, somebody could not make a decision. And indecision is a decision not to make one. And it's not a very comfortable place to be. Somebody was lightly involved with one person and seriously involved with the other. But I feel like the person that they were seriously involved with was more for stability. Loving someone and relying on them are two different things. Leo or the cross watcher, whoever I'm talking to. One more message for Leo. I don't feel like someone's... Okay, I feel like the love was not conditional. Oh, oh. Maybe the love is unconditional now. It feels like more of an after the fact I realized that, oh my God, this is someone I could love. But something feels forced here. Because we got, I love you in a place where there is no space or time. I love you for life. You are a friend of mine. Which is a lyric from one of the Donnie Hathaway songs. 
but it's in the reverse and it came out next to feels forced do not willfully suffer in the name of love leo or cross watcher um what's the advice for leo what is the advice for leo? as soon as i cut the deck we got three of swords and the justice three of swords in the reverse which talks about letting go of heartbreak what's the advice for leo find your happy place leo look at that the sun find your happy place leo there's a okay Go for whatever it is that's going to make you happy. Show me the sun. There's something that you need to be on. Either there's something that came out that caused an ending. There could have been a communication that caused an ending. How precious. Something that was held back came out and caused an ending. And so somebody let go, right? No commitment here. Something that, like I said, had all of the right ingredients. Ten of Cups. Who is this Ten of Cups connected to? Somebody gave up on the dream, right? Ten of Cups. There was an offer that I wanted to make, but I wasn't clear in my head about whether or not I wanted to move forward with this or to resolve it. Because I question whether or not it was going to be a waste of time or energy. But it is something that I wanted because I wanted to work with this person or collaborate with this person because they make me very happy. Six of Cups. But I still had stress from my past with an ex, possible Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And I was trying to, trying to go back and forth between that, you know, Page of Cups. Maybe there was an offer that was turned down on that end because I have found new love in this Queen of Cups, possible Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So then I found myself split in two, given to two different energies. Who is this Queen of Cups? Yeah, back and forth, in and out of two different relationships in secret with the Moon card. I regret that. So, advice. Leo, temperance, justice, take time to heal, get back on the path of righteousness is what I'm hearing. Anything that you're trying to manifest, you have to do from a pure place or something unpure is going to manifest in your life. So this is about getting back on the path that is meant for you. What do you value most? What's going to make you the happiest? What is the pathway to the sun? Where, Which way is going to get you there? Who is going to get you there? I think it's you, Leo. Your advice is you. The sun can represent a Leo or an Aries. So... Who is the person that makes you feel happy, Leo? The song that's playing right now is called Withholding. Somebody's been withholding themselves from something that would make them happy. Or withholding another person from being happy. Or something like that. One more card for Leo. We end with you, Leo. The King of Wands. Who is the person that makes you happy? Well, first of all, it needs to be you. Second of all, it could be another fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But lastly, it's time for you to take action on whatever it is that's going to make you truly happy on the inside. Because happiness is a feeling. It comes and goes. And we're responsible for that. It's your thoughts that create the vibration that the law of attraction responds to. So what is on your mind, Leo? What is it that you want to create? Your emotions are only an indicator of what it is that you're creating. So how are you feeling? Because that's affecting your thoughts, which is affecting what you're manifesting. So what is the time for you to take action on, Leo? 
I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you would like a personal reading to look deeper into this or another situation that's personal to you, the link for that is in the description box. I will see you in the next reading, Leo. Ciao.